Erica, I know that you had attempted to become a WWE <laughs> diva, are they? Well, I didn't attempt. They wanted me. And How I was like, I'll just try it. Because if you, get a, if you get a request or an invitation to go and have a WWE tryout, you're going to take it. And so, yeah, I flew to Vegas and I got to watch a SmackDown live taping. And, um, you know, I met Steph McMahon and Triple H there. And then we flew to Orlando and I got to take part in a three-day little mini training camp at the Performance Center of the WWE. And it's a lot different than what I do, <laughs> but it was really fun. I have so much respect for um, everyone in the organization. It's really cool. It is fake. I don't know if you guys know that. <laughs> what? But Just figured that out a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but they're great athletes. Um, it was really fun. I uh, love learning new things and I really enjoyed my process. I really enjoyed the process. But I really like freestyle Olympic wrestling, so I'm going to stick with that for now. So, Erica, what's next? I know the Olympics are coming up in a couple years. And then, but even beyond that, how long do you plan on uh, Opening wrestling? ceremonies is July 24th, not that I'm counting, oh. but... Um, so you are going to try to get there, yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm competing for Team Canada at the World Championships in yeah. September in Kazakhstan. So that's the first qualifier for Tokyo. Okay. We have our Team Canada Olympic Trials um, on December 9th in Niagara Falls. And then that dictates a team. And uh, hopefully I will be on the mats in Tokyo in 2020. That's the goal. And then from there, you know, I always wanted to wrestle until I either A, couldn't physically do it or B, didn't love it anymore. And uh, I love it. I'm still learning so much. I'm still scratching the surface of what I'm capable of. So it's a really exciting time. So who knows what the future holds. So what do the Olympic trials look like for you? Is that a long process or is it just kind of a one and done? Yep, it's a one day tournament. You win, you go. So it's quite savage, but uh, that's, what, that's the game in this sport. Well, a lot of preparation for just one day and then mm. hopefully in a year you could be representing Canada again. Yeah, it's um, it's scary. It doesn't get easier once you're an Olympic champion. In fact, it gets harder. I know, Mark, you can probably talk about that. I mean, there's all these new expectations, all this new pressure, and um, but I love the pressure. Uh, we'll see if I can rise to the pressure on the course <laughs> today, but um, it's fun, you know. And so I'm, I'm really excited for what the next year has in store. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This was great. We have a little bit of golf left. Let's get to it.